Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Mindy Banks, I'm the Flip Flop Chef. Today I wanna to show you how to make bruschetta chicken with zucchini pasta using the Rock Rock, the Deluxe Grill and Griddle, and our really cool veggie spiralizer. So I've already preheated my grill. We're gonna go ahead and start off by getting some pasta in the microwave. If you've never cooked pasta in the microwave, just go with it. Um, when you're using some awesome Pamper Chef products, you can do just about anything. So let's go ahead and get started with the pasta. So it's really quick and easy. We're gonna take our Rock Rock Everyday Pan and I'm gonna add about eight ounces of spaghetti. Um, this package has a little bit more than eight ounces, so I'm gonna use most of it, um, but not quite all of it. I don't want this to um, boil over. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take these pasta noodles and I'm gonna break them in half. If the grocery store that you shop at sells the pot size, spaghetti noodles, they're already broken in half. Um, I got these at Aldi, so they don't usually have the pot size. They don't usually have Rayo's brand either, but they had that this time, so um, that's what I'm using today. But whatever spaghetti noodles you have will be just fine. We're gonna add two cups of chicken broth, and my grill is beeping at me. It's wanting to know why I'm not putting food on it, so we'll do that in just a second. We're gonna measure out two cups of chicken broth. I should have almost enough in this container. Um, this is leftover from another recipe, so if I need to add any water, I'll do that, but I think I have just, yep, perfect. Two cups of chicken broth. We're gonna pour that on top of our pasta, and for this particular recipe, it does tell us to cover the um, rock crock, so we're gonna use the lid on this. Sometimes when you're cooking pasta in the microwave, you don't wanna use a lid, um, but this recipe, is a covered recipe. So we're gonna put this in the microwave for five minutes, so hang tight, and then we're gonna make our um, chicken. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna season up our chicken tenders so that we have a protein for this recipe. You don't have to include chicken in this. You could simply make it um, just a pasta dish as a side dish if you like, but I wanna make it a little bit more hearty. We're gonna add some chicken tenders. So I've got about a pound of chicken um, tenders here. I'm gonna add some of Pampered Chef's garlic infused canola oil. Oops, throwing the lid around there. Add just a little bit of that, maybe a tablespoon or so. And then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of Pampered Chef's Italian seasoning mix. You can use any brand Italian seasoning mix, but if you've ever tried ours, then you know it just really is better than the rest. So I also love that our dry rubs and seasonings are gluten-free and they're kosher. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to toss these chicken tenders in the oil and the Italian seasoning. And then I've got my grill already preheated here. Um, I use the grill setting I set the timer for three and a half minutes. These cook on both sides, so the top plate and the bottom plate are heated. So there's no need for you to have to rotate these. It's gonna cook the top and the bottom at the same time. If you're not familiar with our Deluxe Grill and Griddle, make sure that you check out my channel. I have a playlist there with lots of other videos giving you a more in-depth look. I'm gonna press the wheel to start, and in three and a half minutes, we're gonna have perfectly cooked chicken tenders. So we have a couple other steps to this recipe and so I want to work on those um, while we wait on the pasta to cook in the microwave and our chicken to cook in our griddle. So um, I'm going to use our spiralizer and I'm going to show you guys how to spiralize zucchini. So you could make this recipe all with pasta or all with zucchini noodles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do half zucchini noodles, half regular noodles. So you guys can do it any way that you like. Um, that's the beauty of cooking. You can make it however way you like it or how your family likes it. So I'm going to show you our spiralizer here in just a minute. But what we're going to do, we're going to get our zucchini ready. And I'm going to cut the ends off. And I'm also going to use a serrated peeler to peel the outside of the zucchini. That's an extra step. You can leave that out if you aren't trying to hide this in a recipe like I'm going to be doing. Um, if my family knew that they were eating zucchini noodles, they wouldn't even try it. Um, and that includes my husband. <laughs> so um, by peeling this zucchini, it takes away the green and it blends in better with the pasta noodles that we have in there. That's another reason I like to do half and half. 
So they still get some pasta, but they're getting some vegetables at the same time. So let's go ahead and get this ready to go. I'm gonna take um, my small Santuco knife and I'm gonna cut off the ends first. And then I'm gonna take my serrated peeler and I'm gonna peel off the green, okay? This is the extra step. You don't have to do this unless you want to. But we're gonna peel off all of the outside green off of our zucchini. I love the serrated peeler because it just has these little tiny teeth. I feel like I like it better overall from the vegetable peeler, but the set comes with a vegetable peeler, the serrated peeler, and a julienne peeler, which is great for making julienne slices for salads, stir fries, and other recipes. All right, so there's a little green color, but they're gonna have to look really hard to find that, so we're gonna go with this. Have a minute and a half left on our um, pasta, and we have a minute and 15 seconds left on the chicken, so I timed that pretty good, didn't I? So we're gonna cut this in half, and then I'm gonna get our spiralizer ready. Um, so this is the veggie spiralizer, if you've never seen it before. It's very easy to put together. You'll notice that there is an arrow here. When you're putting this on the base, you have to line it up with the arrow on the base. It won't fit in any other way, and so they make it really easy for you to pop that base right in, and you can see the arrows meeting the arrows. Now, I'm gonna take it off again and show you guys a couple other things. So when you look in here, this is a blade cover. So you're gonna pop this off and that exposes the blade down here. You wanna be really careful when you're using the spiralizer because um, if you put your hand in there, you could cut yourself. Now also on this little blade cover is the other blade attachment. So this has a spaghetti cut and a fettuccine cut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in. I like the spaghetti cut, um, excuse me, the fettuccine cut the most. So you're gonna take this little piece, hopefully you guys can see this, and I'm gonna slide it in the slot on the back. Now, let me tell you something. You wanna make sure that you go in and you stay flat. If you have this kind of catty corner up a little bit, then it's not going to um, slice evenly. So I'm gonna tighten that in. This is a little key. All right, if you didn't hear my, my microwave and my grill have beeped to let me know that they are done. So here is the chicken. Let me go grab the pasta. You guys hang tight just a minute here. All right. Now, let me grab a bowl for this chicken. So I've got one of our glass mixing bowls. I'm gonna transfer this chicken. Isn't this beautiful? And how quick and easy is that? I use the Deluxe Grill and Griddle for chicken more than I use it for anything else. It is a fantastic appliance, and I hope that you guys will get it and add it to your kitchen. I'm gonna press cancel, and I'm gonna turn the grill off, because I am done with that. And let's go ahead and finish up our noodles. So going back to the spiralizer, I have the fettuccine, um, blade in the side here. I'm gonna pull this up and slide this in. So if you didn't notice, I cut this zucchini in half so that um, it would fit in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to press and turn. You don't wanna press really hard, just enough to put pressure on the vegetables. So check this out. So I'm getting these really pretty zucchini noodles here. And we're gonna add these to our pasta noodles. And we'll cook this for about five more minutes. Because our pasta is not completely cooked, but our um, zucchini pasta doesn't take quite as long to cook as our regular pasta noodles. So we're gonna do the other one. Now, this veggie spiralizer can be used for a variety of different vegetables. I'm gonna show you a really cool downloadable cookbook that you can get free in my recipe community. So if you're not a member of my recipe community, be sure that you check it out. You can find it at the flipflopchef.com. Just click the link at the top of the page. It'll take you right to the group and you'll be able to join there. Now you do end up with a little, just a little thin piece. You can cut that up if you like. Now to clean this, you're gonna take this apart. All this is um, dishwasher safe, by the way, but I do recommend 
after you remove the blade, whoops, excuse me, the blade on this side. So after you remove that, take your Easy Clean Kitchen Brush and you can just um, rub right in there. Actually, I'm calling this a name of a product we haven't sold for so many years. This is the dual-sided cleaning brush. So excuse me for that. Um, that was a blast from the past for sure. All right, so what we're gonna do, let me take my lid off and I'm gonna use my chef's tongs here just to sort of toss these a little bit. So the noodles have cooked about halfway. So you can see they're kind of limp, but they're not quite ready. We're gonna add our zucchini. So I'm just gonna toss this in. And then I'm gonna give this just a little turn, just to kind of spread that out a little bit. And I love my little microwave grips. I'm gonna put that lid on and let me pop this back in the microwave for five more minutes. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our bruschetta sauce and we're gonna use fresh ingredients to do this. Let me clean up my um, cutting mat here. And my countertop's a little bit wet, so this is slipping and sliding, but it does have a little no-skid gripper to keep it from going very far. I am gonna use my Flex Plus with the food processor attachment. If you're not familiar with this product, um, I have a playlist on my channel showing you all kinds of recipes and detailing all three of the cordless appliances that come with the Flex Plus. So just so you know, this is a cordless food processor. It also has an immersion blender and a hand mixer. So today, I'm gonna show you how to use the uh, food processor. So it comes with a slicing blade. You can do a thin or a thick slice um, and then you also have a grating blade. So you can flip this one way for a coarse grate, the other way for a fine grate. And then you have our multi-purpose blade here. Now all of these blades go on the same post. So I want to show you how to take this apart. So I just sort of wrap my hand around the post like this and then you're going to twist the post and it comes out the other side. So you always use just one blade. So if you're gonna use the slicing or the grating blade, you're gonna take this blade out, don't use it at the same time. To put this one in, you're gonna press down and just twist a little bit and you'll be able to get that um, right in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some basil, some oil, um, garlic, and tomatoes. We're gonna put that on our food processor, blend it up, and it'll be ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the ends off of these tomatoes and then just sort of cut these into chunks and toss them into the food processor. So I'm using four Roma tomatoes for this recipe and we're going to use a nice handful of fresh basil. I'm going to add some olive oil and fresh garlic. and I'm just using my small Santuco knife again. All right, let's use the garlic press for two cloves of garlic. So I love this, take the little cleaning tool out, put your garlic clove in here, you don't even have to peel it. We're gonna press this in right over um, the tomatoes, scrape this off, and then use your cleaning tool to press that paper skin right out. So we're gonna do another one. And then our Garlic press is dishwasher safe, so it's really, really easy to clean. And now, I'm gonna cut these stems off of the fresh basil. I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna add three tablespoons of oil. Wash my hands real quick. All right, we have two minutes left on our pasta, so we're almost done. Um, all right, so we're gonna take our food processor lid and slide that on. I'm gonna put our power handle in and I'm gonna add the battery. Um, and when you do this, it's going to um, flash just briefly right here. And then you're gonna have to press the safety switch on the other side to get this to light back up. And then you adjust the speed using the plus or the minus button on that side. I'm gonna flip this around and put this on the highest speed. We're gonna blend. Perfect. 
take off the battery pack, power handle, and our lid. Now, just so you know, when you're cleaning this, you want to pop um, this piece off. So you can wash this. Um, you just don't want to submerge this part um, because this is actually part of that battery operated attachment. And so um, that's how the battery works. So you want to just rinse that or wipe it clean. And then you're going to take out the post. And then I recommend just being gentle when you take those apart since it is slippery. So we have our bruschetta ready to go in our pasta. We just need to shred some cheese because you can't have um, any kind of pasta without cheese in my opinion. I'm gonna use our zester here and this is one of our coating trays. Um, I'm gonna just uh, shred some Parmesan cheese right into the coating tray and then we'll have this to go on the top of our pasta. This coating tray actually is a set of three and they are great if you have our deluxe air fryer um, or if you like to do any kind of deep frying, it's great for battering because you can put your milk in one, you can put your flour in another, and your seasonings or coatings in the other. All right, a little bit more cheese. If you know me, uh, if a little's go, lots better. Our pasta is done. So I'll grab that in just a second. All right. So that is our zester, goes right in the dishwasher for easy cleanup. So I wanna show you guys our veggie spiralizer cookbook because um, this is a free resource for you. This is found in my recipe community. So if you're not already a member, go to thefliplopchef.com, click the button at the top to join the community. If you are a member already, you can find this by clicking the files section. And if you can't find it, just let me know and I'll be happy to help you. So this cookbook has a lot of great information. So it's gonna show you all the different cuts. You can do a ribbon cut, spaghetti cut, or the fettuccine cut like we did. Um, there's some tips on how to prep your veggies and how to use this on butternut squash. This is so cool because this shows you all the vegetables that you can spiralize using Pampered Chef's spiralizer. And then the rest of the cookbook, oh, excuse me, one more. This is your sauce page. So we have several different um, sauce recipes. So pick your veggie, pick your sauce, and then you can just pair them up however you like or the rest of the cookbook has um, full recipes. This looks similar to the one that we're making today, but it's not exactly the same. So I will um, let you guys check this out. I know it might be hard to see on camera with those laminated sheets, um, but you can find that in the files section of my recipe community. Let me grab our pasta. All right, this smells so good. Set my glass lid down where it won't mess up the countertop there. All right, check this out. So we have a mixture of zucchini noodles and pasta noodles, all right? So I'm gonna let this sit for just a few more minutes and we're going to slice up our um, chicken just a little bit. So I'm gonna grab a fresh here we can use the same cutting mat here and we're going to slice that chicken i've given it a little bit of a time of a chance to um cool down and i'm going to just cut these into chunks using the same santuco knife that i've used for the soul recipe so we're gonna just roughly chop these. I like bite-sized pieces. It just makes um, eating this a little bit easier. Then you have less cutting to do in your plate or bowl. Now I recommend using one of our polyethylene cutting boards if you're using hot foods. You may notice this cutting mat is sort of bubbling up a little bit. The heat will do that. Um, you can put this in the dishwasher though and um, it will relax that flat. And if you ever have an issue, of course, you could put this underneath something heavy to flatten it out again. All right, so let's get this all put together. So I'm going to use our large stoneware serving bowl um, for this recipe. And I'm trying to decide if I want to drain off any of this um, pasta sauce or pasta water, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, usually it absorbs a little bit more than that, but I'm just gonna pour all of it in. So we're gonna pour it in 
to our bowl. We have a few noodles left behind. So let's pull that out. And I'll mix this face so you guys can see a little bit more. All right, there we go. I'm gonna add in our bruschetta. Just pour that in. I'll get a scraper and scrape that last little bit out. See, when you add in the bruschetta topping, you can't tell that there are some zucchini noodles and some pasta noodles. Now, before I added that color, it was pretty easy to tell which ones were zucchini and which ones were not. We're gonna add in our chicken. Give this a toss. And I'm gonna add some salt and pepper using our grinder set. I love our peppercorn medley. It's a blend of five different peppercorns. And then we have our Himalayan sea salt. Give this a little toss. You guys, this recipe is so easy. It is delicious. And you've hidden some veggies in there that your family isn't gonna know about. And like any good pasta dish, you wanna top it with Parmesan cheese. And don't leave anything behind here. There we go. So there is our bruschetta, zucchini, chicken, and pasta. I hope that you guys enjoyed um, this recipe. I can't wait to hear what you think about it. I know you're gonna make this in your kitchen. Be sure to check out the file section of my recipe community so that you can get the um, cookbook for the veggie spiralizer. Remember, it's in the file section. So if you're in the group, just scroll over to the file click that and you're going to find like probably close to 30 cookbooks. So it's not just about that one. There's so many more there for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to go to the flipflopchef.com, join the recipe community, and I look forward to seeing you next time.